there's no such thing as luck. There's just well-equipped teammates making sure a ravenous zombie doesn't chew on your brain matter for breakfast. The New Year's Eve fireworks whistling and popping outside drown out the lasers and explosions from the game I'm playing on the computer in Bobby's office. We have to activate the electric fences if we want to defeat the final zombie horde, my friend Keisha says in my headphones. Her voice crackles and I adjust my earbuds. I ignore her advice and click on my character, enabling a chainsaw attached to a shovel that I earned. My computer screen lights up with a post-apocalyptic girl in dusty combat boots, a bright red scar sneaking down her cheek. She runs at a small group of zombies, their bony arms reaching for her as she slices off the top half of their skulls with a chainsaw. Keisha, Juan Carlos, and I have been trying to beat the final boss in our favorite game, Brain Basher 3, The Munchening, since we all got it for Christmas last week. The first levels were simple. We fought other bands of survivors, worked together to create laser fences, and gathered weapons, ammunition, and vehicles. But the final boss of the game is a lot harder. A massive stampede of zombies who come out of nowhere and rip you to shreds. We keep dying in a pile of bloody limbs. Juan Carlos pops into our Discord chat. Wouldn't it be better to dig a pit and fill it with firebombs? Juan Carlos's character, who has long, flowy braids, swings her barbed wire-wrapped bat at a zombie stumbling toward her and smashes its brains across the screen. She stands on top of the zombie's body, and I hear Juan Carlos laugh through my headphones. His character has the most kills of any of us. Another firework whizzes outside before exploding, the high-pitched whistle and bang celebrating our near victory. Oye, mi cielo, tengo algo que regalarte. Abuelita taps on the doorframe behind me before shuffling farther down the hall in her house slippers. We're so close. The meter on the final boss zombie horde is practically to zero. Soon it'll explode in a cloud of brain bits and blood. Almost done, be right there, I call to Abuelita as my leg bounces in Papi's office chair. I have no idea what she has for me, but I don't think it can top beating the final boss. You gotta go, Juan Carlos asks. We've pretty much won. I sigh. Yeah, my abuelita wants to give me something before they do their effigy thing. That's the one where you throw those dolls into a fire to burn up bad luck, right? Keisha asks. Her army sergeant character jumps on top of a burning truck and fires her grenade launcher at the stampeding zombies, her long ponytail flying behind her. Yep, every year. Abuelita raided Bobby's old clothes this time around to sew the dolls. At least I won't be embarrassed by all his super loud floral shirts anymore. Or he'll just use it as an excuse to buy new ones, Juan Carlos says. Through my headphones, I can hear the fireworks exploding outside his apartment. Probably. A clattering sound comes from the kitchen as Mommy sets out our usual New Year's Eve treats of quesitos, pastelitos de guayaba, and empanadas de picadillo to have after midnight. My mouth starts to water as I think about sweet cream cheese and slices of guava paste wrapped in pastry crust and mini pies filled with spiced ground beef. I don't really care about the dolls, I say. As long as Mocosa Mackenzie doesn't see from next door, my abuelitos can dance around the backyard with sparklers sticking out of their ears. The breeze from the ceiling fan slithers down the back of my Houston Arrows hoodie and I shiver. You better hope she never finds out that you call her Booger Mackenzie. Is she still officially the worst person in sixth grade? Keisha asks. She's leveled up. She took a video of Abuelito and Papi in the backyard digging the hole for our lechon on Nochebuena and posted it on Snapchat. She said they were burying a body. That's ridiculous, Juan Carlos says. Lechon is the best. You don't disrespect it. Not on Christmas Eve or Tuesdays or ever. Yeah, tell her that. I click the computer mouse harder than necessary to release a razor net onto three zombies who are about to rip my arms out of their sockets. Lechon is my favorite thing to eat. Abuelito likes to make it the traditional Cuban way, putting a whole butchered pig in a hole dug in our yard that's lined with banana leaves and topped with hot coals. It's a lot of work, but the lechon always turns out delicious, crispy skin on the outside and juicy meat on the inside. Of course, all Mocosa Mackenzie sees is Abuelito and Papi burying a skinned pig. I love lechon, but sometimes I wonder if it'd be easier to just grill burgers like everyone else. Oye, no comas los pastelitos antes de medianoche, mommy shouts, loud enough for the entire neighborhood to hear, and I groan, figuring that papi got caught trying to sneak some treats before midnight. 